Hey guys, uh, so this time we got Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes on the PS4. My very first PS4 game, in fact. Now, um, as I was kindly reminded, this is not Metal Gear 4. It's Metal Gear 5. I, I kind of goofed on that last one. I was in a bit of a rush making, uh, throwing the video together. So, uh, if, if it really bugged you that much, I apologize. But no, I do know my uh, Roman numerals. Thank you. Uh, anyway, I figured while it's going cheap, I might as well pick it up. Um, to answer, no, I don't have a PS4. They are next to impossible to find right now, around here anyway. Uh, probably everywhere else too. Um, and also, I got word that in Canada, at least, they uh, up the price $50, I guess, to make up for uh, all the money they're losing not having them on the shelves. I, I don't understand that. Uh, anyway, so, wrapping's off. Wrapping's off. Um, so, yeah, so I picked this up, being that it's cheap, and I will have something to play once I do finally get my hands on a system. Anyway, we're going to kind of compare and contrast here. Um, of course, the cover is the exact same thing. Uh, the back, let's see if I can, sorry about the glare. It is a little, eh, no, no, it's, the placement of the text is a little different. Anyway, on to what we have. We have the disc, and we have the, if this is anything like the other one, it's just a pamphlet for the Konami store. And it is just, just that, just a little bit of advertisement. And warranty information which I will never read, most likely. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through this. Assuming you never saw the uh, first one and you're just looking for the PS4 edition. We have, hopefully that comes out, um, a nice nice sketch of uh, Snake or Big Boss, if he's going by that. I don't know. But uh, I do like it. It's nice to have a bit of an insert uh, artwork every now and again on your discs, or on your cases rather. Let's put the game back in. Um, interestingly, I, know, I noticed, I was reading this on the way home, and the PS3 edition is 1.4 gigabytes hard drive space. As I'm reading this, the minimum on the uh, hard drive for the PS4 is 4 gigabytes. I guess uh, the added effects and uh, whatnot would uh, would uh, make sense to have more space taken up for all that. Which I do here is, um, and I've seen videos that the uh, the uh, quality goes re uh, really far up on the PS4 version compared to the PS3. Huge leap. Very nice looking. I hope to play it sooner than later. Um, as far as the... Uh, and I almost dropped it. As far as all this information, I will read it off. It is uh, one player, like I said, 4 gigabytes minimum hard drive space. DualShock 4, HD video output, 1080p and it has remote play which honestly I've never looked up remote play I don't know what it means exactly I'm sure it's something terribly obvious that I'm just not cluing into uh, anyway for completion's sake you got the spine and it says on the front here unlock bonus items in Metal Gear Solid 5 the Phantom Pain with your copy of Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, really nothing different to say between the two of them. Um, 
I noticed being my first PS4 game, there is nothing listed on on uh, trophy support or anything else like they would have up on the top here. I'm not seeing that on the back here. I'm sure it's all in there. Um, PlayStation ex exclusive mission: replay and recreate classic scenes from Metal Gear Solid in the Deja Vu mode mission, rather, which is on this one as well. Um, but yeah, not to draw it out, there it is. My first PS4 unboxing and game. And, uh, again, sorry about the glare. So, there you have it. And, there's the PS3 edition, which I will be, of course, playing tonight. But yeah, that's it. Don't want to draw this out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And I, I don't know. Uh, I thank you for watching the video, and I will see you for my next one. Later. See ya. Bye.